Hey, play it. It's Monday here on the Josh Speaks, and I want to ask you a simple question. Have you ever been in a relationship with someone that you thought you truly loved, only to have them break your heart? And as you sit there crying, crying over your lost partner, you're secretly plotting revenge. And that's what today's episode is about, because I'm going to teach you how to get revenge on your ex. Anyway, the first way to do it is to make them hate you. A very simple way to make someone hate you is to go out with one of their best friends. Because the worst thing to think about is someone that you know, someone that you grew up with, someone that you've been friends with for years, plowing out your ex-girl. But Josh, what if their friends are all ugly? No problem, we got it. You just find a devilishly handsome looking stranger to take the place as your boy toy in front of him. Jealousy is a really simple human emotion to understand. People want what they can't have. And to see you with someone else is totally going to destroy their world. Go home, get all dolled up, and take that boy toy out with you to somewhere he's going to be and have an awesome fucking time in front of him. Even if he's there with his new girlfriend, he's still going to look over you and think, wow, she's having a better time than I am. I really miss her. But don't take my word for it. Here's my amazing friend Caroline to tell you the scoop. What makes me madder than mad, as horrible as this is going to sound, is seeing someone move on. They, they'll turn around in that angry little, oh my god, I can't believe that person like isn't thinking about me, isn't devoting every second to me, and then they'll start to move forward, and then after that, you just keep living. The second way to get revenge on your ex is to have them want you. What I mean by that is to get back with that person and make them truly love you. Because once they fall in love again, you got hand. And just like driving a car, you now have control over that passenger's life. You can use them, abuse them, and lose them. Bring them to the lowest point of their life where they feel they need you or else they can't live. And then step on their bones. It sucks to be completely dependent on a person, to feel like your life has no value unless they're there. That's why I completely recommend it if you want to crush them. But don't take my word for it. Let's get a female opinion. Caroline, what have you got to say? Regardless of whether you walked away or they walked away, it's over for a reason, you know? And definitely, if they're meant to come back into your life, then they will come back into your life. But the thing is, you can't sit there and waste your time, like, plotting little, like, little, uh ways to manipulate the situation because then that just makes you as sad as they are for leaving in the first place, you know what I mean? But of course, the very best way to get revenge on someone is to let them forget you. If you've ever seen The Count of Monte Cristo, you'll remember the part where Edwin was forced to take control over his own life. Before the great change in his life, he was a boy in love. And after the great change, he became a man. And what was so interesting was that the girl he loved couldn't even recognize him. He had made so many changes in his life that he was a new person. But to tie it back to the lesson here is that the best revenge is success. The best revenge is success. Other, other, other best revenge is success. You, there, weeping about your ex-boyfriend or girlfriend, move on. Don't let someone control your reality. You're better than that. You know it. Trust me. If you focus your attention on things that will bring positive changes in your life, you won't care what they're doing with their time. And whether or not they become jealous or bitter, it doesn't matter. And the reason it doesn't matter is that you'll have successfully moved on to better things. Bring it home, Carolyn. And that's the best thing you can do is to force that person to get over you, potentially, because that's what's going to happen anyway. When two people break up, the whole point is to move forward and do your own thing. And if you can like, if you can give the person the freedom to do that, and they, they know that you're giving it to them, there's no better revenge than that. Make them hate you, have them want you, but let them forget you. Like this video if you agree the best revenge is success. Leave a comment if you don't tell me what's the best way to get revenge on your ex and subscribe to the channel so you can see more super cool videos as always guys love and peace there was this one girl in high school that i really really liked and nothing destroyed my world more than to see her with other guys one time she told me she was going on a date with this guy after school so i decided to walk to every single one of her classes thinking i would change her mind and i was crushed when i saw her meet up with the guy after school so trust me, nothing hurts more than seeing the person you like with someone else. And if you're in those shoes, you gotta learn to cut them out of your life and move forward. Thank you, Carolyn, for inspiring me to make this video and for being awesome.